Hey y'all, it's another WordPress Wednesday. My name is Corey Ashton and you continuously asked me over the years, what theme should I use for my website? Whether I'm an author, whether I'm a coffee shop, whether I'm a lawyer, I'm a, a recipe blogger, what should I be using on my website? Well, let me give you some ideas today, depending upon your budget, depending upon your industry and what you're trying to accomplish. I've got a whole list for you in this video. Let's check it out. Hey, this video is brought to you by Pressable. I'm gonna be bragging on them further in this video because if you have a budget where you can actually afford to have a hosting company that cares about WordPress and that cares about your website's security and how well it loads quickly um, and, and how easy it is to connect with them and get support, Pressable's gonna be your team. I'll talk about them a little bit later on as well. So be sure to check them out. I'll put a link for 30 days free in the description below. So what kind of themes should you be using for your WordPress website? I've got a couple of questions we have to start with to kind of give you the lane to drive in, okay? So first question is, what's your budget? All right, so do we need to stay in the always free lane and we have no money whatsoever and we really just need to see kind of a proof of concept, can I get out there and start doing this? That's one lane. Do you have a little bit of a budget that you think, okay, I can afford maybe a hundred bucks, I can afford maybe 200, $300 for the year and really invest in this and try to get it out there? Or are you seriously considering, all right, I've already done kind of a proof of concept, I need to move to that next level and really look that, that professional high-end look, that style. So there's kind of three different areas you can land in when you're trying to decide what theme to use because if you have to stay completely in this free lane, you guys, you've got to go back over to wordpress.com and use that version. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got another video. I'll put the link down below in the thread so that you can click on it and go see what the difference is between .org and .com for WordPress. Because if you stay in the .com lane, you can actually do everything for free. You don't need to pay for hosting, but there's a caveat to that. You have to understand that you're gonna be a little limited on things. You're gonna be a little limited when it comes to the, the domain name that you're using. You're gonna be a little limited when it comes to what themes you can use, what sort of features you can plug in to your WordPress website if you're trying to stay in that lane of totally 100% free. But it's doable, so that's exciting. If you have that little bit of a budget where you can afford to go get some great hosting from Pressable and, and get um, an environment that you can use plugins and you can go buy an upgraded nice theme to use for your WordPress website, well, that's going to be some really great options for you because it kind of opens up. You've got unlimited options of themes now. You have unlimited options of plugins, not only free plugins, but also if you want to upgrade and do uh, premium plugins where you're actually installing them, downloading and installing them. Lots of cool options there. And of course, if you want to upgrade and go to that big pro level and really look the part, you can work with an agency like mine, Webtegrity, where we're actually building you a total custom WordPress theme. Uh, we don't go out and get the $50 themes and try to customize them for you. We actually code from scratch a WordPress theme. So that's always an option, but budget looks like this. Totally free. You're probably in the anywhere between $200 or $300 range here. And then over here, you're probably gonna be starting at the 5,000 and up range, right? So think about that and let's look at your theme options. So let's start out for those of you in the free option. Um, there are a lot of options, so don't think that you're that limited. Uh, and I'm gonna show you three of my favorites that I would suggest, they've been around for a while, so let's uh, take a look. So all you're gonna do is go into your dashboard, we'll go over to appearance and go to the themes area. And of course, this is gonna be 2017, 2016, depending upon when you're viewing this video, there might be other themes sitting here. These are themes provided by WordPress themselves. Uh, the team creates these, typically one a year. And, and all you have to do to add new or to find another theme that you might wanna use is click add new theme and you get to go into this entire area that offers totally free options. Now, as you're looking at some of these, you might see some that have really cool bells and whistles don't be fooled by all of the bells and whistles. Some of those are gonna be required for you to upgrade and pay um, for certain features or functions. But for the most part, everything you find inside of here will have a free option for you. 
Um, so clicking around on them, you can just click details and preview, open it up and kind of see what it's gonna look like. Obviously this version over here, this little thumbnail doesn't look like anything that we've got going on right here. Uh, but ultimately you can have it look like this is what they're trying to say to you. Um, and, and you can tinker and play around. You can click install. These don't cost anything, so you can tinker around and play. Um, you can also come up here and just kind of look for popular, look for latest. You can do a quick search and say something like um, store if you're looking for anything that might have an e-commerce option inside of it. And you're gonna see all of these different options that live here. Let me tell you about my three favorite free themes that I would suggest for you right now. Zerif Light is gonna be the first on my list and I've talked about this one for several years now. It's still definitely on the top of my list. If you click install on it and activate it, it's pretty much straightforward. These authors give you quite a bit of flexibility when it comes to styling the website. Um, and obviously, they offer an upgraded version as well so you can really get some different um, looks and, and some different customization opportunities. Um, but I mean, here it is right here. I'm already up and running. I've got content kind of already sitting in here that I can go in and make changes to. Obviously, I can change my uh, logo up here in the left-hand corner. Um, really super simple customization. Uh, and it, it allows you to install a couple of free uh, plugins that they are suggesting that you use in order to have it look and function just like the, the uh, uh, demo. So you wanna be sure to install these so that you can have that same function that the demo shows. Let me show you some of the customization you can do inside of it, which is pretty cool. You can come over here to customize. It'll open it up and let you see all the different things that you can pretty quickly and easily make changes to. Um, so, I mean, they're gonna let you go in, make changes to this. There it is, you can customize this button. Right, you can do anything you want to here. Change the links on them, change the links on them. Pretty amazing. Already I'm making these changes just simply on the fly. Uh, if I wanted to change this completely, I can upload a logo if I wanted to. Change this area. And again, this is Zerif Light. You guys are gonna love it. Check it out. Let's look at the second one. The second one's gonna be comparable to Zerif Light, but it's called Spacious. So let's install that and show you a little bit of the customization that you can do inside of it. Um, it's it's pretty simple. This would this would be a, uh, a theme that I would recommend for uh, a small business. Um, and it's got pretty great documentation, so you can click here and, and understand kind of how to walk through all the different things that you need. You can install the actual demo content, which I think is really fantastic. And of course, they have the documentation. And of course, they have the pro version, right? Where you can upgrade and pay the premium price tag uh, to get the pro version. They're gonna show you the options that you get in the free versus pro here. But let's go in and customize things. Um, I can go to the front side of the website and kind of show you what it looks like now. This is already it. I mean, th this is it right here. You can come in here change anything we want, right? Change this area. And this is spacious. This is the name of the theme. Um, come in here and make changes to your, your uh, slider. This is gonna be a slider area, so you can either activate it or get rid of it if you wanted to, if you didn't want the slider there. Um, this, of course, is just your home page. You can go in and change your menu. You can get rid of the search function. If you don't need it, just remove it. I mean, there's all sorts of really cool things that you can change simply on the fly. Um, they're offering a lot of customization and you've got a really great strong footer area if you need to have that uh, for your project. So pretty cool options inside of Spacious. Let's look at the third option. Number three is gonna be Bootstrap Blog. These guys, I mean, basically if you need a blog, this is gonna be a really great straightforward theme that you can plug in and start blogging today if you wanted to. Let me show you some of the customization inside of here. Remember though, it actually, let me go back for one second because I want you to see that they actually have quite a few th uh, plugins that you need to install that they recommend. So you'll want to be sure to drop all of these in. Um, you can say begin installing plugins. Install each of these so that you have every bit of functionality that the, uh, the demo is showing you, right? So this WooCommerce option, even if you don't need a store, you probably need to go ahead and install it and just have it sitting here um, so that, again, you kind of have all those features or functions. But it does have a WooCommerce store, so that's kind of cool too, right? You're not just uh, blogging. You can have all sorts of options. Go into Customize. You can see a few things just really quick. It looks very, very, very clean and simple right now because I really don't have any content inside of my website for it to 
um, show you. You can go in here and change all sorts of colors and fonts just really super easily and quickly. You don't have to know any code to do it. Uh, they give you a lot of opportunity to change uh, kind of the whole style of it. If you want to have a background picture in it, you can change it. You have different header options, header image. Do you want a sticky header? Do you want to show the search feature? Um, different options for layouts if you go to the pro version of the theme. So really cool options. Uh, if, if you're looking to blog, I highly recommend this one, Bootstrap Blog. All right, that wraps up kind of our free options for all the WordPress free themes if you need to stay in that budget. Here's a few more that I've used over the past few years just to let y'all see uh, some other options as well in that free zone. Let's go on, let's look if you have a little bit of a budget, where can you be, what options open up for you? What you wanna keep in mind here is if you have a little bit of that budget that you can actually spend and you're able to move into the .org version of WordPress, which means that you're self-hosted or you find a hosting company like Pressable to host your website, that's your service space where all your files live if you have that type of budget then you're gonna be able to go out and actually purchase a higher end theme and you're not just limited to free options for themes but you can use a free theme still that's perfectly fine but if you'd like to upgrade a little bit have a few extra bells and whistles some extra features that are kind of just out of the box plugged in already to the theme then you get to skip coming here and shopping in the add new theme for a free option and you get to move out of your website and go to other external sources. One of the most uh, popular out there is going to be themeforest.net where you're able to find a lot of WordPress themes. I mean hundreds if not even thousands of options live inside of here. Um, what you want to remember though is that most of these run anywhere between 30 to $60 US dollars. Um, that's a one-time fee for a period of a year, uh, you're gonna probably have you know all of your uh, updates coming into you. But after that, you're gonna need to re-up your support with the author so that you can get the updated version of your theme. It shouldn't cost you that same dollar amount every time. It might be a lesser fee, but don't be fooled by the idea of well, it's just sixty dollars one time. There's gonna be uh, options where you want to be able to uh, upgrade or update your themes for security purposes, right? So some of my favorite themes that I would suggest inside of Theme Port Forest obviously is Avada. It is the most popular selling theme inside of Theme Forest. Really phenomenal. I will say this though, Avada is kind of heavy. It's a little bloated when it comes to all of its options because they really packed a lot in there. I mean, you've got a shopping cart, you've got a lot of child themes in there for optional layouts. It's a lot and it's totally worth the money. Uh, but this again is for one website, $60. You only get one license to use for one website. So if you're a freelancer, you might want some different options. I'll talk about that in a minute. Another theme that I highly recommend is the X theme. Bernadetta is one of my awesome team members here at Webtegrity, and she highly recommends this. This is her go-to theme every time for her clients. I think it's important that you know uh, that these are fully supported, phenomenal, phenomenal reviews, and just a ton of sales. I've also seen uh, the seven theme do really, really well for clients. It has a lot of extra uh, plugins that it went out and purchased licenses for you, and it, and it, and it gives it to you for free when you purchase its license. So those are three that I recommend living over here inside of the uh, theme forest world. But if you know me, you know my channel, you know I am in love with the Divi theme for a lot of different reasons. If you are a freelancer and you are building for a lot of different clients, first of all, you need to be on pressable hosting. Second of all, you need to get the Divi theme because this thing it's one time you're going to pay for this, right? So you're going to come over here, you're going to join their lifetime access. You could, if you wanted to, do $89, that's fine. That'll get you the theme, that'll get you all the plugins that this offers. But if you come over here and do the 249 one time, you get it for the lifetime and, and it's unlimited. You can put this thing on as many websites as you ever, ever build. So that's why I'm in love with it. Plus it's so powerful. You can do so much with this Divi theme. If you've never played around with it, I'm gonna put the link to the demo page builder inside of this beast. Um, I want you to come play around with it because I think you're gonna get just as hooked as I am. I love it. It's a great product, super fast, loads really quickly. Highly, highly recommend the Divi theme. If you have a budget in the range of $3,000, $5,000, $10,000, you're a company that really wants to just take your website to that next level, you want a really great responsive mobile version of your website, 
Or maybe you've realized as you're watching your Google Analytics that you have a lot of traffic, but conversion's not happening. Nobody's calling in, nobody's filling out your form, nobody's doing what you need them to do. Well, you probably are ready for a full custom solution. If that's the case, I'd love to see you come over to Webtegrity, contact us, and let us help you build out that custom solution. Most of our websites are gonna be anything from three to five plugins, super lightweight, everything's gonna be custom code for you. Why do you wanna do this? An author building out a theme for you, anybody out there who's trying to create a theme for the masses is gonna have kind of every bell and whistle inside of it. And it'll be good for you, it'll be sustainable for you for a few years. But the truth is, if you want something really lightweight that's gonna be super secure, you don't have to worry about the updates on it, this is the solution for you. Come over to Webtegrity, let's talk about your project, see if I can help you, see if my team here in San Antonio can help build out an amazing solution. If you want to, click the button right here that says our work, and you can see some of our full custom solutions. We've had a lot of fun developing really cool projects, not only for folks here in San Antonio, but even around the world. All right, y'all, so let's recap for a second. If you're looking to do a free option, you can definitely go over to wordpress.com, do a totally free solution. You don't have to spend one penny, and you're off and running with WordPress. If you have a little bit of a budget anywhere between, I don't know, even down to 50 bucks, 50 bucks, $300, $500, something like that in that range, you can certainly go with a self-hosted version, go over to pressable.com, get 30 days free of hosting, get a great solution where they can help you with any support, um, check them out and then you open up Pandora's box in some ways because you have unlimited options for themes and plugins and you can really build a really cool solution for yourself. If you're ready to take your website to that absolute next level, that's where you wanna be. You need to find a company, maybe locally or here in San Antonio if you want to, that can help you build out a really great custom solution. I hope this has helped y'all. If y'all are using different themes that you really wanna brag on, I'd love to hear from you. Put them in the thread below. Tell me what theme you're using, what type of success you've had. Put the link there. Let me check it out. I'd love to see what you're building these days. I hope y'all are having a phenomenal WordPress Wednesday, and I will see y'all next week. Be sure to subscribe. Bye, y'all. Hey, y'all, P.S. Uh, this website right here that I built for, uh, for what? where am I pointing? Oh, 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 over here, yeah. <laughs> Uh, my website, askcory.com, was built with a th Divi theme, just in case I didn't brag about it enough. I don't know. There you go.